crazy people out there, I'm Brandy Considerate and welcome to a new video! Exactly crazy people out there. Wait a second, I nearly broke my cell phone. I broke my cell phone. A good song title. Wait a second, not just a good song title. A title that I can go to Eurovision Song Contest with it. Exactly crazy people, today we're gonna talk about Eurovision Song Contest. What is the Eurovision Song Contest? You're truly asking me what is Eurovision Song Contest? And which part of the world do you actually live? For those who don't know, Eurovision Song Contest is a song contest that happens and involves the whole world. It's like an World Cup of football, but in the music industry. And each country is choosing a song who should represent him in their Eurovision Song Contest. And they're usually or normally the winner country of the last one is this the year. Eurovision Song Contest will happen in Israel. Israel, Tel Aviv. What should it be about? Should it be about the one who's representing the country should truly represent the country? That's what actually was Eurovision Song Contest. A few like years Eurovision ago. Song Contest is turning every time to be the more bizarre you are. The more chances you have to win. How it was Eurovision I Song Contest. I remember being 10, 12, 14 years old, watching the Eurovision Song Contest, hoping that the Saturday will come as fast as possible so I can sit on my couch again. <laughs> and seeing all those things and seeing, oh, he had represented his country and so well. It was well. so good to see, especially a few countries singing their main main language who is actually the main point because you're representing a country of course english is turning out to be the worldwide spoken language exactly me i'm speaking english in my videos even if i live in germany and my background is portuguese but let's talk about it 10 years ago 10 years ago eurovision song contest was actually truly about what does this country want to represent and it was about the, the music lyric. itself should represent a country for example it is an Arab country of course they will have Arab rhythm or if there's a Latin country they will have Latin rhythm or you know according the to the country was so important a few years ago the performance itself the lightning the show involved with it was all very important a few when years ago when I started ago. seeing that Eurovision Sun Country is getting a little bit out of the normal out of the normal state when the things that is the more bizarre you are the more chances you have to win 2017 to in Portugal won Eurovision Song Contest for the first time I was so happy at that point but also very disappointed. I was so happy that time because we not just won the Eurovision Song Contest and in the same year we won also the European Football Cup, we won the Eurovision Song Contest, we won a lot of things and I was like, nothing's gonna stop us I was us so now. happy but at the same time, disappointed. Why? Because of the singer who won Eurovision Song Contest 2017, Salvador Sobral. But I searched for him on the internet and I see that he has also participated on the Portuguese idols. And since then, he was known for the jury to be an jacket. I searched his background and what I found out in some of his auditions in Portuguese idols is that he was actually some a not good person. He is actually a person who always thinks for himself, not care about the others, and, you know, rude. And should that person be a representative of a country? A rude person? But I was like, okay, it was a few years ago, now he has grown up, now he has different ideas, maybe he is a good person now. Let's see how the music is, maybe he can be a bad person, maybe his music was good. Let's take a look. The lyric actually was good. I'm not gonna lie, and you guys that outside, you know that I am not gonna li lie to you. The lyric was good. The lyric was very good constructed. The lyric has meaning. The lyric has an, an poetry behind it. It was good, the lyric. It was actually and then it good. And the song itself. And 
I'm not gonna lie to you guys, to me, the song sounded like a Disney song. And for me, it doesn't have really so relevant. So, Adam Disabral won the Eurovision Song Contest 2017, and everyone was about you don't need a big show to win the Eurovision Song Contest, and it was good. Sometimes you don't need too much show of it. Sometimes a piano, a voice sounds amazing, like it was an amazing show. So, but the next one, put it to the extreme. Ninetta Barzilai to Eurovision Song Contest with a song who was about chicken? You're joking, right? So many good songs in the Eurovision Song Contest last year. There were songs, for example, Elena Ferrere, he sang Fuego. She was amazing. I Actually, she didn't want, but I got her song on my cell phone. The problem in Eurovision Song Contest is the more different you are, the more bizarre you are, the more people are gonna say what is it about, and the more you're gonna be a topic to talk, and the more you're gonna be a winner to the Eurovision it's Song Contest. It's sad nowadays, but it's true. It's true crazy people out there. The more bizarre, the more different you are, the more chances you have to win, because people are not usually... Um, in touch with such thing are not usually have those things in the normal days and that's why it is so fascinating for but some people. But let's talk about the song itself. The song itself, to me, it sounds like chicken going around. <laughs> I mean, does this really represent Israel? I don't think so. I, to be honest, I don't think this was a representative song. I think uh, a song should represent the country and not using any different styles just to you know get your attention from and the media I'm Portuguese so let's talk about Portugal Portugal had a few and I'm not saying just there were just one or two there were a lot of good artists there were a lot of artists who have powerful lyrics powerful songs who actually songs who truly could win the Eurovision Song Contest in my opinion and could bring everything back who is getting a little bit lost in the Eurovision Song Contest. For example, uh, Matai, he has a um, song called Perfecto, it's, it's translate perfect and his voice is incredible. When I hear him for the first time, I didn't you know it was amazing he is amazing his his voice is incredible is when you hear that you're like how did she get this voice and not just him uh, Kalema who were one of the main artists that I looked up to I'm a big fan of Kalema I already been on a show of them last year in vacation summer vacations and I loved it I truly loved it I'm following Kalema for a long time and they had a song called a Deutsch who is translated us too and the song was good the song was modern the song, the song was different the song was the music was you know it has something it has something that you want to get up your chair and dance and what won the Eurovision Song Contest in Portugal to represent them? Conan Osiris I mean what was the song about? like I said in the beginning I broke my cell phone that means that every Portuguese should broke his cell phone? He is a good artist. I mean, he figured out how to win a revision song contest in Portugal, so he is a good artist. I'm not gonna say that he's dumb or something like that. He is really good at doing what he does. Why? Because he found a way to win this stuff. Because he was bizarre enough so the people don't see those things any time or any day, and he got voted. <laughs> Let's talk about the, the music. music of Conor Aziri called Talemovich, who is translated cell phones, is Arab Britain. Are we a re Arab country, Portugal? No, we aren't. We are a Latin country. We aren't a Arab country. And why am I saying this? Because it, it hurts a little bit of my heart because I mean, it's my country, it's my hometown, and we are sending someone who is talking about breaking a cell phone, calling to heaven. I mean, it's one of the favorites to one Eurovision Song Contest. 
you can't really see it on the rankings. He is on top. He's a good <laughs> singer. Think. He is actually, he isn't a bad singer. He is actually a good singer because he is singing an Arab rhythm that not everyone can sing it. I'm not saying that he is bad. He is actually good. And he has a thing in his head because he knows what he has to do to reach the people. And that's that's very unique and that's genius actually. That's genius. But what I don't get it is... The song in my itself. opinion, it's not really representing, but I wish Conor Oziri, of course, it's just my opinion and maybe has some other opinion, maybe you share the same, um, it's just my opinion and I hope Conor Oziri a lot of luck because he will need it, because I heard that he will not be the only one bizarre thing who will happen on stage. If you take a look of other countries who are also participating, there will be a con contest who... Um, there will be another one who actually is sending some certain culture things into the stage and he won his country. And already knowing those things you know that the more bizarre you are the more chances you have of course to some win. people it's will say now nowadays it's so better than it was before maybe in your opinion but in my opinion not <laughs> i'm not going to lie to you people guys. out there and i'm reserving this for the end because i want to thank everyone out there and i'm coming very near to the camera because it's truly in my heart that i want to say i want to thank everyone everyone out there who is subscribing this channel who's making this channel grow we are reaching now the 500 subscriber i'm like i never thought that i was made it i never thought that i was even reach 100 subscribers and we did it i never thought that we we're gonna pass it away and we reached the 500 subscribers and i'm like Nothing's gonna stop us crazy people, nothing. And what you gotta do for it, I want to reach 1000 of subscribers by the middle of April. And what you guys have to do it, you will have to subscribe. There's a red button here. Here's a red button who says subscribe. And if you're watching this video for the first time, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you leave a like, a comment, it's so important. So especially for example the revision sound contest, if you have something to say, make sure you leave it on a comment section below. So I will take a look, I will answer it and we all gonna be friends and not hating. Peace. Peace, people. Peace. <laughs> Peace to everyone out there. I see you guys next Monday and I hope you have a good afternoon and I hope you're gonna even after all watch the Revision Strong Contest because even if I don't like it, I hope a good song will made it and Conan Ozir is out there. I know this will not get you but um, good luck. I am Portuguese living in Germany but I hope you the best luck of all times even if I don't can relate to your song. I hope you got the chance to, you know, show the world that you're more than that. And we we'll see each other in the next Monday. And au revoir.